me Mercedes and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to be productive and on how to stay organized during doing online school or if you're just working from home or just tips in general during quarantine to keep yourself productive and organized. If you guys are new to my channel you've never seen my face before here on YouTube, feel free to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to see some more videos from me. Also, if you want to catch up on some more videos, I have more videos linked down below or you can check out my channel for other videos. Also, if you do like this video at any point in time, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more of me, you can check out my social media, my Instagram and my Snapchat and also my TikTok are all my name, Mercedes. So if you just type in Mercedes, you can find me on Instagram and everything else. And yeah, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get on started. So the very first thing I'm gonna talk about is how to stay organized. So organization takes practice. You have to like continue doing it over and over, trying to stay organized and keep things put together and precise. The best way I do that is with a planner. I have a planner all the time. I plan out my YouTube videos in one planner and I plan out my schoolwork in another planner. And when I say planning, I mean like plan out your whole entire week schedule from each day to day of what you're going to do for each task and everything that needs to get done in that day. My next thing is that I like to do is make to-do lists for each day. Therefore, it's the same thing as making out your planner, your weekly planner. Making to-do lists of everything that you need to get done for each day can help you stay organized. And then also, once you check mark them off your to-do list, it makes you feel kind of like you just accomplished something and it makes you feel rewarded and happy about it. So I personally do feel good after I have checked marked off something off my to-do list. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are two things that come hand in hand. It's having a calendar and it's Google Docs. So a calendar, I use the Google Calendar. You can also use a hand, like an actual physical calendar. I use both actually. I use one to write down all my assignments. Since I'm currently just finished school, I don't have any school work right now, but I am doing summer school. So once I get my syllabus and everything out, I am going to write all the tasks and all the assignments that I need to get done, done throughout the whole entire month. And so I do that online as well as hand and as well as physical planners. So I like to write down everything I need to get done. What is Google Docs? I use Google Docs as to do like, not necessarily use Google Docs to do write my papers and everything like that. I also use it to do tables into a document. I'm, I create a document. I have a table. I organize everything I need to get done. I also make to-do list in Google Docs. That way I don't have to go to my paper to-do list. I can look online and just like search up my to-do list that I have to get done. And I kind of just like organize a calendar kind of set inside of a Google Docs that everything I need to get done, done so it gets done, if that makes sense. You guys want to see like a whole entire video on how I plan out my YouTube videos and how I plan out my schoolwork. I can do a separate video all on that to go into more detail about that. Next way to stay organized is to have categories of things that you do, meaning like you have set times where you do cleaning your room, set times where you're working, set times when you're taking breaks, set times when you're working out, just kind of setting down a schedule. And this leads on to the next thing that I want to talk about is your routine. In order to keep yourself engaged and to get everything that you need to get done in an orderly manner, you have to have a routine, like something that's locked down and set. And I personally have a morning routine. A morning routine keeps me, I know exactly when I wake up what I'm going to do right away and how I'm going to go about it and how I'm going to get everything done. And I tell myself I'm going to make today productive and worthwhile and I'm going to get everything that I need to get done, done. And on top of that, at the beginning of the week, Sunday or Monday, I write a whole weekly to-do list so I'm not confused on what I have to do that day. I have my to-do list to go back to to see what I need to do for that day. Like I can look back and see, oh, I need to do my homework or I need to write a paper or I need to edit a video. So having a routine set down and having categories of everything set aside helps out tremendously. So those are all of my tips on how to stay organized and those are just like the basic ideas that I do um, for staying organized. Now I'm going to go into the productivity. So how to stay productive, it's all about the mindset. I feel like if you have the mindset that you're going to get things done at a certain point in time, you're going to follow through with it, then you will get it done. It's all about having that good mindset of thinking. I'm gonna get it done because I am a boss. I don't wanna say the So like, you are a boss. Like you're going to get what you need done, done. Like point blank pure, like there's no arguing about it. Like you're getting it done. And that's the kind of mindset I tell myself. Maybe you can just get stuff done without thinking like that, but I personally get stuff done. I need to think I'm gonna get it done. I need to know I'm gonna get it done. So what I do is I set 
alarms in the morning to be productive. I don't let myself wake up anytime past 11. Like if you're waking up in the afternoon like 12 or 1, that's where you need to reset yourself and get yourself back on a good routine. For example, I set my alarm for 9.30, 10 o'clock, and latest 11 if I don't get up at 11. I set like 10.30. My goal is to be up between 8 or 11, 8 or 11. Like maybe 9 o'clock late, 10 maybe later, but I don't want to be sleeping in past 11 because then I know my whole day is going to be gone. It's going to be a waste. If you're waking up past 11, your day is mostly gone. Like it's going to be the afternoon. And the reason why I say that is because the earlier you wake up, the more time you have to relax in the morning. Like I said before, I have a morning routine. I have my coffee, my bagel, everything. And I t after I do that, I start to do my homework around 12. I'm already working at 12 in my routine. I know I'm getting my stuff done and being productive around 12 or 1. So why, if I wake up at 11.30 or 12 o'clock, how am I going to have time to go into work mode at 12? I go into work mode at between 12 to 1, and then I have a break, and I get in the shower at 1 o'clock. I personally just do a bunch of my work in the morning, like right when I wake up in my pajamas. I start writing papers. I start editing. I start doing stuff right away. And then after that, around 1 o'clock, I take a shower. I get dressed and ready. And getting dressed and ready gets you to be productive. That's my next tip is basically get up, take a shower, get dressed, get ready. If anything, if you want to do a workout beforehand, do a workout. Um, I personally try to work out at least three times a week. I don't work out every single day because I'm not like, I used to could say I'm not as fit as it is. It takes a lot of time for me to work out. I'm trying to work out every day. Productive is giving yourself something to do. If I'm not working out, I'm filming a YouTube video. If I'm not filming a YouTube video, I'm editing. If I'm not editing, I'm doing a paper. If I'm not doing a paper, I'm taking an exam. I keep myself do keep myself doing tasks. One task after another task after another task. And if I'm not doing tasks, I have a set aside time for a break. I have a show that I'm gonna watch and I have some food that I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna take a break. But that's set aside. To be productive, you have to have tasks and a list of things that you need to do. Which now leads on into me talking about how you can get your mindset into being productive. You can tell yourself, I have things that I need to do that I need to get done and done. And that kind of just, I don't know, when I tell myself that, that type of stuff, it kind of gets me like a wake up call, like alert, like bro, like get yourself out of a rut and get yourself doing what you need to do. And so I started going into beast mode. I started writing down to-do lists, doing lists of things that I need to get done. And I started planning out my week, planning out my day-to-day -day schedule. And before you know it, just because you plan it, you have to act on it. So that's my next tip is how to act. You have to act on what you plan. So what I like to do is I like to do each thing into increments, like set times. So like I set aside a task for 12, I set aside a task for one. Even getting dressed and getting in the shower can be a task. Like you can say at one o'clock, I'm gonna get in the shower, do my hair, get dressed and ready, put in an outfit. Whether, like for example, I'm wearing a cute top and some sweatpants. Whether you're wearing a nice top and some sweatpants or a pair of jeans or a skirt or some shorts or anything it will help you out tremendously. So now that leads on to how to be productive and organized all together. It all comes down to, like I was saying before, your mindset, to-do list, getting yourself in a routine and getting stuff done, waking up at a reasonable hour, and overall just becoming a transformed, transformed version of yourself that's always active. Whether that active meaning like you're like, kind of like, you know how you're active on Instagram, you see someone's active, that means they're looking through posts or they're texting people or they're posting something or they're liking something. Being active is the same thing as being active with your mind and your body. Not only are you being active if you're working out, you're being active if you're typing, if you're writing, if you're texting, if you're eating, if you're breathing, you're being active. You have to get your body to be in active mode of like being productive. I just want to end this video off on saying that you can be productive. You just have to put yourself up to the task, like put yourself up to doing the job. Like you can do it. And I know personally, next week I'm going back to work and I'm going to have to be even more productive because I have to go to work and I don't know if you noticed I work at Target. So I have to get up, get ready, go to work, do my homework, do YouTube, do all that. So it's just going to be a little bit harder. But at the end of the day, if you know you can do something, you can do it. So yeah, those are all the tips and like motivational stuff I have about how to be productive and active and keep everything organized.
during quarantine while you're working at home or while you're doing online school at home and yeah well thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video if you did like it feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe i appreciate every single one of you who watched all the way to the end if you did watch all the way to the end feel free to leave down some tips for organization as well as productivity but thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye Show you how a kid should be